it's me. If you want to know how to get this cute little curly faux hawk, keep watching. Okay, to start this off, your hair needs to be mostly dry. Mine's obviously dry and nice and fluffy. Um, I'm going to be using hair pins. You can use a mix of bobby pins and hair pins. This is a hair pin, if you're not familiar with the hair pin. And this is a bobby pin. Alright, so the top definitely needs to be um, the most dry. So what you're going to do, if I can get my mirror here, go from just about where the temples are and draw a line back and go back to almost um, where your head starts to curve down. So we have that. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. And for this hair, what you're going to do is kind of twist it just a little bit and push it forward and to the sides, depending how much volume you want. Get your hair pin and I'm sticking it up and then forward up and forward at kind of a diagonal so it's grabbing you know that top of that hair and then this side bring it up and forward so that's nice and secure and then you can play around and fiddle around with the top all that you want next see if I can go to the side you're just gonna take sections you don't want to part that hair so you're not seeing lines but just take random sections and you're gonna kind of smooth it out with your brush so it's nice and smooth a boar bristle brush would be the best but I left mine at work so we're doing with what we got so you have this get your hairpin drag it from the bottom all the way to the top and then take it down and then let's see here my mirror and do the same to the other side smooth that out twist it slightly I hope I have enough pins for this and then pin it in and you want this to be pretty far back if you can see how far back it is so it's like a slender mohawk because that's what we're going for here with this look and then just keep doing the same thing just grab sections and twist it and then pin it so it's looking like that so far and then I have a mirror here and you could use bobby pins if you wanted to but I prefer using hairpins so that is your faux hawk right there you can pin the rest of this hair up if you wanted to or you could leave it down and then what I generally like to do is get a squirt bottle or something and spray this and then mold it to the shape that I want so if I can see you could bring some of this hair up and pin it up here if you can see that kind of mush that together and pin it And then just mold it around. Ouch. I can't really see. And I'm going to 
to pin some of this hair up a little bit more. And this is when you would want to use a bobby pin for the sides, just to push that in and secure it really well. So that's what I'm going to do. And like I said, get some water and mold the rest of this out. And that is how you get a curly faux hawk.